Okay, so I am Jilan Kotakota. So I am working as a, a technical expert at Society General. So I have more than 10 years of experience, out of which uh, more than four years I've been working on Airflow. And Alidin Mobi is uh, a dear friend and colleague. He is a product owner at Society General, and we have been working together for more than five years now. And unfortunately, he couldn't make to the in-person summit this time. So we'll just uh, move him away. <laughs> yeah, and don't mind the picture, please. So Alidin thinks it's me morphed into that body, but uh, I bet my mom wouldn't be able to recognize me there. So <laughs> OK, so maybe some information about what is Society General. So Society General is one of the financial <laughs> Society General is one of the leading financial services groups in Europe, and uh, uh, we are also active, very active in corporate social, social responsibility. And uh, we have a target to reduce our carbon full footprint by 50% by end of uh, 2025. So at Society General, we process hundreds of terabytes of data every day. And we use various orchestration, automation, or job schedulers for that. And one of them is Apache Airflow. So currently, we have more than 500 Airflow instances, out of which 200 plus are uh, being used in production right now. So I'm here to present why and how uh, we are using Apache Airflow as data, hybrid data or, uh, orchestrator so why we wanted to use or why why we are using apache airflow as hybrid orchestrator uh, before that let us look at what are the offers we have in uh, market right now under public cloud category we have uh, astronomer which is also providing the multi cloud or hybrid one and in the public cloud segment we have uh, aws mwa my managed workflows for apache airflow and uh, Azure Data Factory managed airflow, a and we have sorry, and we have Cloud Composer. So all these public cloud uh, offerings are uh, deployed or hosted on the respective uh, cloud offerings. So on the other hand, for private, we have uh, Astronomer again. We can we can use Astronomer as private uh, offer, and also recently we have uh, offerings from. IBM and BMC as well. On the other hand, uh, we could also use community uh, provided Helm charts and Docker Compose. Or if you are working on very sensitive environments like uh, banking, medical, or uh, defense organizations, you can do it by yourself. So that is one of the reasons why we have we are using by ourselves. So that is the regulatory challenges. As SG is the financial services group based out of Europe, so we we must comply with a lot of uh, rules and regulations or banking reg regulations in Europe, and also as well as uh, the regulations in the hosting country where we are operating. Okay. So these are the regulations we have uh, from uh, Europe. For example, we have uh, the popular one, uh, GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, which restricts us to share personal or sensitive data. And we have recently uh, Digital Markets Act, and we have some more uh, in pipeline like Digital Governance Act, G Digital Services Act, Data Act, and Artificial Intelligence Act. And maybe you would have heard, uh, there is a buzzword for the last few months in Europe, digital sovereignty or sovereign cloud. So there are a lot of uh, good talks in this year of first them. So you could, I invite you to check those. I have just put one of the, one of our favorite talks there. What is digital sovereignty and how can open source software help to achieve it by Kurt Garloff. So he's from uh, sovereign cloud stack. Okay, so how we have done uh, hybrid cloud orchestration. So 
first we have we have tried drawing a big picture on uh, big picture of uh, current airflow offers okay so we have studied we have analyzed and we have uh, done proof of concepts of all these managed services and as you can see uh, only astronomer we could go for as it is offering the hybrid orchestration but unfortunately our security assessment was not okay for that so that's why we had to go for uh, cloud orchestration and for the public offering uh, as gdpr regulation we cannot put uh, secret information or sensitive information in public cloud that's why even uh, adf manager flow is approved by our security but that's that's partially approved or conditionally approved because we cannot put our secret data there so in fact in in sg we have uh, classification of data like public internal confidential and then secret so only confidential confidential data we could put into uh, public cloud as of now so these are some of the uh, offerings we have uh, we have studied later recently so one of them is uh, aws mwaa so it actually offers two options one is the public access one another one is the private uh, web server access so this is the public access uh, one that we have uh, studied or done the poc uh, so the upper part of the diagram actually uh, uh, it's a typical uh, MWA environment, so I'm not going to deep dive into it. Uh, the two key concepts here are one: if you see a uh, web server can be accessed to our internet publicly. The second one is data is being pushed out of uh, our SG network and going into public uh, cloud. So that is not at all okay because of our regulatory challenges. Let us look at the second option. our second offering of uh, mwa that is private web server option so here uh, aws actually all the airflow components deployed into a vpc and web server is um, act, the connectivity to the web server is open only to sg through uh, aws direct connect and we have also studied uh, done the poc on uh, Azure Data Factory managed airflow, so it is almost similar to the AWS offer. Uh, still, we have our data being pushed to uh, public cloud. So that's why we came up with our own uh, hybrid orchestrator. So here, this is a simplest uh, simplest uh, uh, architecture or diagram. So we have airflow installed on private cloud of uh, Society General. and we have all the components here and we do the processing here and if you could see uh, we try to communicate to public cloud using a link hub link hub is nothing but uh, it's a proprietary service uh, developed internally which provides us the encrypted uh, uh, connectivity to public and uh, our private cloud so it is similar to uh, azure express route or uh, aws uh, direct connect so uh, even here uh, we cannot put i mean as of now we cannot use airflow in sg for the secret uh, our vital in vital infrastructure or applications we have got validation only for uh, confidential infrastructure or applications as of now critical critical infrastructures uh, because still we have not validated with our uh, security uh, that we can we could handle our secrets uh, while we are doing the orchestration so uh, that might change in future because we have uh, we have a use case maybe how many of you know uh, sci-fi s i f y anybody yeah please sorry okay so it is it is actually uh, systemic systemically important and financial institutions so yeah that's a tongue twi tongue twister but uh, so what it does mean is any financial institution or bank whose failure might trigger a financial crisis so society general is one of uh, such financial institution so uh, it's too big to fail in other words so we cannot fail so there are a lot of uh, uh studies which are ongoing 
how we can recover our uh, vital infrastructure in case of uh, attacks like ransomware. So in that case, we could lose our whole uh, private, private cloud. So for that, we are assisting from Airflow and we are, we are trying to propose Airflow to uh, do the uh, recovery process and we have several ways and all the studies are going on. So hopefully it is going to change and we are going to use Airflow for more and more important uh, roles. That's it from my side today. Cool, well, everyone give a big round of applause.